it's fun hair day y'all know i am never ever opposed to switching up the look and today we are definitely switching it up because y'all know if you've been here that i am more of a sleek hair kind of girl i like my polished looks okay but i am not opposed to changing up the look giving some highlight and a different vibe so what do we have <laughs> We have Love Me Hair, of course. So shouts out to Love Me Hair for sponsoring today's video. This unit is a 100% kinky, curly unit. Just look at the coils on this hair, okay? I cannot wait to fluff this up and look at the spring action. I mean, the bounce back is just insane. So let's go ahead and go over the deets of the wig. This is a five by five unit with HD lace. So you have that five by five parting depth hold on let me roll up my sleeves real quick <laughs> I just want to show you guys the lace compared to having it on my wrist I mean it is definitely giving scalp action and we all know that HD lace is chef's kiss baby but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the bottom of the unit I mean the spring coils are going all the way from root to end this is a ventilated wig partially down the middle which is more than enough because if you like to scratch your scalp honey you can do that <laughs> anyway I just wanted to point out a couple of things you have your secured bands and that extra additional band across the middle it also came with this really cute mesh bag for storage all you have to do is take that net wrap that wig up and pop it in that bag you get a comb a bald cap and a lace melting band and sorry y'all I was about to choke for a second I had to catch my breath because I'm talking too fast just a tad little bit of work is all this unit needs. So all I'm gonna do is fluff it up and then I'm gonna go ahead and you know, do my little magic, my little lace tints and my this and the that. But as you can see here, I am trying to adjust this wig. And if you've been here, then you'll know. I have a big old head, honey. I have a very large head. So this wig actually did not fit me personally as a glueless wig. But I just want to say that this unit can definitely be worn as a glueless wig. For me, I did have to go in with a very thin layer of the lace adhesive uh, adhesive spray to get the unit to stay in place. And when I say I, I used just a little bit, you guys, it was just a little bit because I didn't really want to, you know, have to secure it down like that. But again, I have to do that because it would have been sliding off of my head and I just would have been looking all kinds of crazy. And that's not what we're doing. So anyway, I am just going in and I am about to fluff up the wig. So I want to be very clear about something. I did not have to use mousse all throughout the hair. I did not spray it with any water because these curls are so good. All I had to do was go in and separate them with my fingers piece by piece. So this is a little tedious. So, you know, give yourself some time on the very first time that you wear this unit to fluff it up the way that you want to. But this is the best way that I saw fit. I liked it when I put it on, but honestly, the uniform curl is not my thing either. So I was like, you know, if I fluff it up, it'll give more of that like big hair, natural girl kind of vibe. And that's what I prefer to go with over having the curls like fresh out of the pack and very uniform on every single curl. I like a little messiness, okay, just a little bit. So I went ahead and I fluffed up each section, but then I'm just taking one thin layer of mousse and I'm rubbing it right on top. So I'm not rubbing it like all the way through. I'm not rubbing it on each strand that I'm separating. I'm just taking one small amount and I'm putting that mousse right on top. And honestly, I'm only doing that because I just want to tame it just a little bit. You know, when I fluffed it up, it was looking, you know, kind of wild. But by putting a little bit of mousse on there, I was able to tame it just a little bit. So as you can see, there is, y'all, I am talking so fast. Let me slow down. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I keep on about to choke on my spit. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I showed you just a second ago the difference between the sections. And here is the side by side. So on my right side, I had already fluffed that side up. And on that left side, you could see that it was definitely still in that uniform kind of shape. So here, I'm just gonna speed through because like I said, this is tedious. And I know you guys don't wanna sit here and see me fluff out this wig because it actually took me about a good 20 minutes. <laughs> Now 
it's just time to add a few little finishing touches to the wig, not much at all. But to give it a little more definition on the shape, I just went through and trimmed some of the like scraggly little pieces after I fluffed it up. And that just gave it a bit more shape so that it wasn't like so wild, but you know, had a little bit of shape to it, like a natural, like, afro i guess like yeah i don't know y'all know what i'm trying to say i gave it some shape okay i went ahead and took off that lace melting band which like i said i didn't even have to wear it as long as i did because it was very 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 and i stress very minimal amount of spray applied today but um i only kept it on there because i was still fluffing out the wig then i'm just taking my lace tint hitting those edges around that lace so that it's nice and blended last step is to go ahead and pick out the hair and we just want to go through with that pick just to make sure that it's nice and full especially around that parted area and that is it isn't this wig so fun y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all i took the footage out but i was in here singing tina turner because i just felt like tina turner in that moment i don't know i felt like i was supposed to be on stage with you know my left out good job in the city like y'all know what i'm saying it's giving that kind of vibe y'all i am so silly but i loved it it was fun Thank you so much for coming and watching today's video. If this is your very first time, then you already know what's about to come at you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, baby. And also make sure that you are hitting that notification bell as well. So you can see when the videos are going up on my channel. Thank you so much. And until next time, love. Bye.